just like our smartphone. We start out each day charged and ready to go. However, as we begin to complete our tasks on our day's to-do list, it begins to drain from our energy stores until eventually we're left with little to no energy. But you survived the workday. That's a small victory, right? And then we're greeted with this. Or this. Or this. Oh, gotta love this. How would you respond in this situation when your battery is already depleted? Elder Holland said, you have to have something in the tank before you can give it to others. The way to ensure that we have something left when we get home is to take small moments of recharge throughout the day. Just like plugging in your phone, we periodically need to add energy to extend our battery's life. But how do we do it? Complete a few tasks, take a second to recharge, complete a few more tasks, and then immediately recharge again. By doing this, you won't be completely drained at the end of the workday. Your reactions at home will be different. Your capacity will be extended to show compassion, have capacity to listen, love, comfort, and heal. The Savior experienced fatigue while he served and helped others. He too took moments for himself to rest, meditate, and pray. There is a very real cost attached to giving. If the Son of God took the time to recharge, how much more need do we have? You can recharge and de-stress by taking time to be alone, praying, meditating, spending time with loved ones, taking time for physical activity, reading, or taking a quick nap. Well, maybe not in the middle of a team meeting, but you get the point. It's important to replenish our energy reserves so we can be present and have the energy to help, listen to, and love others. If we seek to bear one another's burdens, it's important that we fortify ourselves. No one is so strong that he or she never feels the effects of fatigue or frustration. Be sure to stop and take time to breathe and reconnect throughout your day. As you feel that renewal, you will have the needed energy and strength to act, love, and lift as he would.